Hello everybody, welcome back to Easy Weeknight Cooking with Heart's Desire Spice Blends. And tonight we're going to be doing the good Spanish rice. This stuff is wonderful. When I was younger, we would try to do Spanish rice over and over and over again, and it was never as good as you could get out of a box. Now that's depressing. So what we've done is we have gotten the really good stuff figured out for you and it's easy. It is so simple and we love it. The recipe is right in the description. So what are we gonna need? Beautiful stuff, one cup of rice, one medium to small onion. Now I prefer to use half of a medium or one small onion for this because you don't need a ton of onion. You really don't. About one tablespoon butter, one cup of chicken broth or some other kind of broth. Just go ahead and chicken, beef, turkey, whatever. One tablespoon of our blend of the month, Mexican chili powder, and eight ounces or one cup of tomato sauce. Once again, we're saucy. So what we're going to need to do first is chop up that onion because we need to saute that onion in with the butter and our rice before we get started. And why are we going to do that? The extra flavor. There is a wonderful flavor flavor enhancing reaction called the Maillard reaction. And what is that? That is when the proteins and everything else in things like your butter, your meat, your veggies will brown. That chain reaction actually creates a wonderful world of flavor. And we're going to want that in our rice. So we're going to be using a wonderful little saucepan tonight and this is going to make up to three cups of rice. So let's get chopping. I'm going to be using one onion tonight. So just chop that baby right down the middle if you do not have a small onion and that is perfect. Put this aside. So I'm going to chop that in quarters because it's so much easier to peel that way. And we like easy, right? Chop off, of course, the uh, stem end. Now it's really easy to just peel this bad boy right down to the root end. That root end is a gorgeous handle. And I find that it makes chopping onions a lot less dangerous. So we want a really fine chop here tonight. So what we're going to do is several slices across the onion, then using that root end as a handle to keep everything together. We're going to turn it 90 degrees and give it a dice. And you'll notice that I turned this 90 degrees so that the cut end was on top of the cutting board. I find that sometimes the very top layers of your onion will slip slide away on you and we don't want that at all. So usually putting that up against the cutting board and then slicing vertically on it will actually give you a nice little dice without endangering your fingers. Go ahead and start your dice. Mmm, gorgeous stuff. And put the skins aside, of course. Now we need about one tablespoon of butter. And I really do love the butter for this because it also adds a little extra flavor. Something that you can't always get from oil. There's, you know, there's a reason they call it a buttery flavor, right? So just plop that right into your pan and turn it on to high heat and let the butter melt. Once it's melted, we're going to go ahead and put in our onions and put in our rice. We're gonna saute that until it gets brown and then put in the rest of our ingredients. So in order to get in the rest of our ingredients, I'd better get a can opener, right? So tomato sauce, why am I doing this? Because Spanish rice is never the same without tomato. And basically what we're doing, if you haven't noticed, or if you were paying attention last week to our live on enchilada sauce, we're basically making a quick enchilada sauce. Instead of just water and tomato sauce, we definitely want that broth because that broth just adds such a huge dimension of flavor to things that is totally missing if you don't use it. Also, if you're using your broth, your liquids get a little bit thinner and that makes it so that your rice actually cooks well and isn't as quite as sticky. So we find that a mixture between tomato sauce and broth really is the best. Now I've got melted butter here and it is trying to sizzle on me. So now that it is nice and hot, 
and go the onions. Mm. Hear that sizzle. Go ahead and put your one cup of rice right in the saucepan. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna coat that rice evenly with the butter. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put that right across the bottom of the pan, let it brown, and you'll notice that the rice runny directions also tell you to do this. Why? Because it does add that wonderful dimension of flavor that their seasoning packets just can't achieve. So we're going to do that with our rice and our onion tonight to add that really great dimension of flavor as well. So go ahead and give it a few turns. We are looking for browning. And so once it starts browning, you're going to have to keep an eye on it. And you'll notice that there's going to be a little bit of fond on the bottom of your pan. That's really, really good. So we're also going to need a pan that has a lid to it because we're going to be simmering this at the end for about 17 to 20 minutes. And you're going to have to keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't burn. Now, is there a way to cheat on that? There have been times when I thought I was doing great Spanish rice and I ended up with something that tasted like a charcoal briquette. Why? Because it burned. And yes, there are ways to make sure your rice does not burn. And I will show you one of them at the end of this video. So we've got a nice amount of browning here. And uh, I don't know if you can see that. There we go. There should you should be able to see a little bit of the browning on there. And that is actually well throughout our rice at this point. So now we're going to start putting it on liquids. So I think I'm gonna start with the Mexican chili powder. This stuff is really quite wonderful. And we are going to put that in first because sometimes it likes to float on top of things. One cup of broth. Mmm, oh, smells. Oh yes. Pay attention to the smells while you're cooking, guys. There's nothing better. And when you cook by your nose, that is really, wonderful. So this is kind of a full pan, so I am going to be a little ginger about mixing this up. We're going to stir it well, get everything just well incorporated and uh, well stirred so that that Mexican chili powder has a chance to really hydrate throughout your rice. So you don't have clumps of rice that only taste like Mexican chili powder, clumps of rice that only taste like tomato. You want it just a real wonderful flavor across your whole thing. And that is, we are going to bring that up to a boil and then turn it down to a simmer for 17 to 20 minutes and you're done, totally done. I love this stuff. And what can we do to make sure that doesn't turn into charcoal briquette? Hmm, give me just a second. The Instant Pot. Now you can use this recipe in your instant pot, your rice cooker, the whole nine yards. Just go ahead and go for it. And I, at this point, we're waiting for this to come to a boil. We're going to go ahead and put a lid on it and let it simmer for another 17 minutes or so. And there is a gimme here for all of you who cannot have rice. For all of you who cannot have rice, you want your Spanish rice like no tomorrow. You've been craving it like crazy. We can do this with rice cauliflower. Trust me, I've done it. So what you're going to do here, there is a hack for this. You're going to need, yes, a can of tomato sauce. You're going to need the Mexican chili powder. And I highly recommend something along these lines. You're gonna have to cut out a lot of the liquid. You're going to have to reduce your chili powder and tomato sauce mixture in order to do that and come out with a rice-like texture. So in order to get the extra flavor that you really need in there, you use some chicken broth concentrate. Just a couple of teaspoons in there gives a ton of flavor and the same kind of flavor that you're gonna get from your rice over here. And if that is not a score, I don't know what it is. I've done both of these recipes with rave reviews. Definitely don't skimp on your Spanish rice when you are craving it. There are so many ways of doing this. And by the way, if you're a vegetarian, there are definitely vegetarian options to get either your rice cauliflower or your Spanish rice over here with some sort of a broth flavor. So you don't have to skimp on the flavor department either. So from our kitchen to yours, happy trails and keep things tasty.